Hello everyone and welcome back to Arsene Lupin and Code Realized Guardians of Rebirth and we're going into chapter 10. I forget what it was titled but it's different from what the guide is titled which is just war <laughs> but whatever. Um, I noticed that uh, there's a couple chapters that have um, less choices than the rest of them like 9 only had one and 11 is only going to have one as well but in 10 we have and there's a save file on one of them. Also, I noticed that recording, I was pretty quiet. Even though I haven't changed my mic settings and my mic is still the same distance away from me. Maybe I was just talk talking quieter that day. But I'm watching the, the volumes right now and it's going into the yellow, which is good because that's when you guys can hear me better. <laughs> and I'm going to try to keep it in the yellow, but it's hard to keep looking at OBS while I'm reading. That's how mistakes happen, and that's when I have to edit out mistakes, <laughs> so. <laughs> Alright. I think they're on a train, that's what it sounds like. They were going to go to the underground laboratory, from what I remember. The landscape flows past on the other side of the train's window. Lupin and I, as well as a few other passengers, headed to London are seated in this railway car. Okay, so they're on the way to London first. Which, I mean, the cathedral's in London, but they're on their way back from her mansion in Wales. I feel the swaying of the train as I look out the window in a daze. I thought Lupin was going to be asleep. I'm like, do we get to watch him sleep? <laughs> no, he's just got his eyes closed. Huh? I remember them being on an airship sometime in Lupin's um, route, so unfortunately I think Nemo shows up again, <laughs> which is unfortunate because I really hate that guy. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was really random, but um, I was just thinking, yeah, they go to the cathedral, but it does all take place in the cathedral. I remember an airship and a CG from the airship. And it's just, uh, I, don't, I don't want to deal with Nemo again. <laughs> How can you tell? That's funny, he uses MP as an example. <laughs> Lupin laughs lightheartedly, then narrows his eyes and looks at me. Oh, he's like Saint Germain. He's like, if you don't want to go, I'm not going to make you. <笑>俺が掴んだ情報によれば、セントポール大聖堂は黄昏の連中が本拠地に使ってるらしいからな。フィーニスがいない今、黄昏がどうなってるかわからねえが、それでも俺たちにとって敵の本拠地には変わりね
Can people just look at you without having a reason? <laughs> no, it's not that. <laughs> Her passionate gaze is distracting. <laughs> Passionately? <laughs> He's like, ah, I guess it's lost on you. Never mind. <laughs> the way you said it makes me curious. What did you mean? <laughs> He meets that. Why is he so proud of that? <laughs> Guess Lupin's already fond of her too. Lupin quickly falls asleep without answering my question. Already asleep. Back then, he saw me cry. I don't know if it's because of that, but every little thing he does makes me feel restless. <laughs> the subtle warmth that I feel through our touching shoulders seems hotter than usual. Once we arrive in London, we'll meet up with everyone and go to the cathedral, the place Father mentioned. <laughs> She's become more aware of him. <laughs> I have so many doubts, but as long as he's next to me, I feel like I can stand up against anything. The sway of the train is comforting and we ride like this for some time. I feel someone gently shaking me and slowly open my eyes. The sun has begun to set and the evening light pours into the train car. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Are we in London already? I realize that the train is no longer moving and look out the window. A small station lies outside. I notice that the other passengers who have been on the train are no longer here. It's a little too quiet right now for this to be London. Are you are you in a dream? Did something happen? お前が寝てる時車掌が来てな。困惑顔で話してくれたんだけどよ。ロンドンに戒厳令が敷かれた。ロンドンに向かう全ての鉄道はその場で待機せよ。て命令が政府から発令されたらしい。ああ。軍の一部が反乱を起こしたらしい。被害はロンドンの市街地にも広がってる。今、ロンドン中が大混乱だとさ。Well, that's unfortunate. What? I can't help myself from exclaiming in surprise. This is also unexpected and it takes me a moment to fully comprehend what he said. The military started a rebellion. The city has been so peaceful it didn't show any signs of unrest when I had left. Probably finished. <laughs> Are you sure it's not some false alarm or some kind of mistake? Oremo Saishua so mutanga, Hontora she. Jijit, Les Chamogoka Shinesna. Lupin says this with a sigh. What about everyone in London? San no Yaskiwa Shigaichka Hanarete. Soreni Anorentua, Chotto Yasoto de Donica Natari was Shineo. You're right, they are all really strong. I have to believe that for now, at least. I gave Lupin a small nod in response to his joking attempts to cheer me up. But I wonder what's happening in London. This rebellion came out of nowhere. Sana,とりあえずは外に出るか。乗客や避難してきた連中が集まってる。噂話ぐらいは聞けるかもしれない。I follow Lupin's suggestion and head with him to the area outside. We've already come so close to London while I was asleep. The streets are filled with people who had escaped from the city and passengers from other trains that are stuck here. We walk around and listen to what the people say to one another, remaining skeptical of anything we hear. According to the evacuees, the rebels set off explosions all across London. The huge blast ripped through the city and the military and Scotland Yard have been busily dealing with them. Seizing the opportunity, the rebels rose and revolted, using the cathedral as their base of operations. Led by eerily dressed soldiers, they occupied major facilities one after another. Eerily dressed soldiers at twilight. <laughs> the 
The first facility that the rebels took over was the gun battery atop London's outer wall. Though the army put up some resistance, the military and Scotland Yard lost control with the guns were turned on their bases. Oh my goodness. These attacks advanced all the way to the center of the government, Buckingham Palace. As of the latest information, the rebel forces have completely surrounded the palace. Queen Victoria has barricaded herself inside the palace with her guardsmen continuing to resist, but it's only a matter of time until her defeat. Terrorist attack. Do you think all of this is true? But, he says, looking out at the people overflowing in the streets. London You could just sneak back in, especially if they took out the, like, gun posts. It's probably not manned anymore. <laughs> Lupin sighs heavily, then it looks at me like he has a lot on his mind. Oh, she's obviously not going to do that. <laughs> London, you are. Mazu, or a guy. So could the impi touch to go to start to each do coco ni modote. Saxon will nearly now stay. I know what he's trying to say. Lupin probably doesn't want to take me into some place dangerous. He's looking out for me. I fully understand that. But. So I'm actually going to re-record the choices here because um, I didn't fully finish the lines that were said when I picked I want to stay with you. It, did, it didn't pick back up where I thought it would so we're going to full it, play it out fully and then go back to the choice you're supposed to pick which is I'm going to help too. So I want to stay with you. No, I want to stay with you. you <laughs> I know, and that's why I can't let you go alone. I feel like if we're separated now, I'll never be able to see you again. I know it sounds a bit unreasonable and leap in size. Nakamato and Lako Toru Dakatara. Oh, my old threat at the Moyokatan Dagana. Gisaiva, sorry, Dakaja, what an eh? As he says this, he seems to be looking off into the distance. I wonder what he sees. I tug on his sleeve and murmur to him. After you saved me, you told me this. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. You have me. You have us. <laughs> That's why I'm coming with you, because you have me. Lupin seems taken aback for a second. Then, after a moment, he raises his hands in defeat. Tuck. <laughs> See, this is what I missed uh, whenever I was recording it the first time, which I think it's... I don't know. Whenever I was editing it, I was like, oh, she might say something important. So let me go back and re-record it. And I didn't realize that I left off right before she said all this. <laughs> he says this with a smile that nods to me. Okay. Okay, and this is where it picks up, because I remember reading that. So we're going to go back up to the beginning. And we're going to say, I want to, I'm going to help too. If you're going to go to London, I'm coming along to help you. Before I can think things through, the words have tumbled out of me. Don't lie. I'm not as skilled as Lupin when it comes to reading people, but I have an idea of what is on his mind. <laughs> it's funny, he just like shuts his mouth and she's like, don't lie. <laughs> no, I can tell that he's thinking because it's not other than Lupin. Lupin, that's not the only thing you're planning on doing, is it? The original reason why Lupin took me was to stop Twilight's terrorist plot. 
What's going on right now in London seems to fit that description exactly, so there's no way Lupin would just ignore it. That's why I know you're thinking that you want to stop the terrorists and save London if you can. Tell me I'm wrong, Lupin. <laughs> you say all this, but what you just told her a second ago was, I want to go stop the terrorists. <laughs> I, I stumbled on this the first time I read it too. I know you're capable of it, and knowing you, you'll go for it. Because you're Arsene Lupin, the gentleman thief with a heart for justice. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> you'll need as many hands as you can get. Take me. I promise I'll be useful. I relentlessly throw my argument at him as he stares at me. <laughs> よくここまで成長したもんだ。あ、その通りだよ。俺は黄昏のテロ計画を許す気はない。叩き潰すだけの理由がある。It's funny he says I have a good reason to crush them and in the other one he said that it's his duty. So what is your story, Lupin? <laughs> For a fleeting moment he seems to remember something painful from his past. But he quickly straightens his expression and looks at me, then shrugs. I accept. Lupin nods in satisfaction at my response. さて、お前を連れて行くって決めたところで、改めて計画を整理しておくが。俺たちがまずするべきことはビクトリア女王の救出だ。But word is that the queen has been surrounded by rebels. そこは泥棒紳士の腕の見せ所だな。まあ、なんとかして見せるさ。で、無事救出できたら、当然ビクトリアは軍を再編成して反乱軍の拠点である大聖堂を攻めるだろう。今の状況で大聖堂に忍び込むのはいくら俺でも厳しい話だが反乱軍と政府軍が戦っている最中なら大聖堂の地下に潜り込むのもそう難しいことじゃねえからなそう so you're going to get help from the government to enter the cathedral? まあな女王を救出してやるんだからギブアンドテイクってやつだ Lupin gets a determined look on his face. The key to this plan is speed. If Victoria is captured by the rebels and the government falls completely, it will be too late. We'll contact our friends later, but first we need to rescue Victoria from the rebels' BCG and Buckingham Palace. Cardia, come on, I'll give you more work to you. That's what I intended to do. I respond slightly nervously and Lupin nods enthusiastically. <laughs> so many LYs. <laughs> the town we're currently in isn't that far from London. Lupin buys a carriage in town and we make our way directly to London. As we approach the walled, walled city, we begin to pass more and more people who have been evacuated from there. Some of them are traveling with carts loaded down with their belongings. Some of them are doing their best to march along with nothing more than the clothes on their backs. There are a few injured people as well. Noble or commoner, all of them keep walking in the attempt to get as far away as possible from the battlefield. Lupin stops the carriage and calls out to a man passing by. <laughs> He's acting all humble. Ah, what are you talking about? So, 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 so,
I'm strangely in awe of him. Hmm. Ah, situation is nothing but a mess. Han Langun is in the middle of the city, and he's just been running around the city. The murder and the murder of the city of London is also a threat from the outside. Hmm. 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 Um, what exactly is the government's response to these attacks? I step out of the carriage to ask, and the man looks at us with even more pity. How could things be so bad so quickly? It was peaceful until just recently. Ah, this is too fast. This was プロの手際だなそれも相当訓練された女王陛下もこの衛兵まとめて宮殿にこもって抵抗しちゃいるが他勢に無勢で勝てる見込みはまずねえよルペディナイエクシェンジグランス This seems to verify the rumors we'd heard at the station about Buckingham Palace 随分と事情にお詳しいんですね The man grimaces and shakes his head in response. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good one. But I'm going to be a good one. 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 The man laughs ruefully as he explains his situation, but despite his laugh, his face looks more like a man who is about to break into tears. The man looks down and says thank you in response to Lupin's comforting murmur. He continues on his way, his feet heavy and his back hunched. Yes, but that man is in the military, but he's running from London. Yononakaniwa,役目のために死ねる人間と死ねない人間がいる。それは本当にギリギリにならなきゃわからねえのさ。役目のために死ねないからって責めることはね。立派に死ぬだけが人生じゃねえ。廃ずっても生きる生き
With the clamor going on around us, there's no way the guards could keep an eye on us. Just as Lupin said, it wasn't that difficult to get to the other side of the wall. But if they're not letting people in, how do they even get in? If no one's going in, there's no crowd to sneak in with. I don't understand, <laughs> but whatever. As we get further away from the gate and further into the center of the city, things begin to get quieter. Because we're in the city, we can't even hear the chirping of any insects. It's so quiet, it's hard to believe that there could be a revolt going on. Lupin looks up into the distant sky as he speaks. Sunrise won't be for a while yet, if the sky towards the center of London is shining brightly. It doesn't look like the sun. <laughs> Probably not the sun. <laughs> More explosions. As we start walking, I hear the sounds of bombs in the distance. There is a huge shadow drifting up in the sky. Could that be an airship? I'm like, please don't be um, Nemo yet because <laughs> I can't handle it. <laughs> then we really don't have much time. Let's hurry, Lupin. あ、分かってる。走るぞ。宮殿に潜入するルートなら、俺に任せればいい。と、そうなるとまずは気合を入れ直さねえとな。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Lupin, why the sudden costume change? なにせ、これから宮殿に乗り込むんだ。気持ちを切り替えるってのは重要なんだよ。He's <笑><笑> in thief mode now. It's like Tuxedo Mask. Every time Tuxedo Mask has to go and be the hero, he's gonna wear his hat, his cape, and his mask. <笑> I see. お前も着替えたかったか? And his cape too, obviously. <laughs> I think Tuxedo Mask has a cane too. At least in the uh, crystal version he does. Sailor Moon Crystal. <laughs> she gonna change? No, thank you. So <laughs> okay. What would she change into? What does she even have? She doesn't have a change of clothes. The bin begins running and I follow. We head towards a flame that burns red against the dark sky. Buckingham Palace should be at the center of it. Oh no. <laughs> The flames swirl in the air. Until I came here, the reality of the world, word rebellion hadn't really hit me. It had all felt like something that was completely disconnected from me. But now it's different. It's a reality that I can reach out and touch. It's a tragedy taking place right before my eyes. This is horrible. The cacophony of the bombing assaults my ears, and the flames engulfing the house scorch my skin. Luckily, there are no people around. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that there are no moving people around. In the fires, if I look very closely, I can see charred figures on the ground. I, I know. I nod in response, pushing down the emotion that rises within me. I run after Lupin as he proceeds, avoiding the streets blocked by flames or debris. When I hear a sinister sound behind me... Oh. Bombs. Lupin knocks me to the ground, diving on top of me and holding his silk hat to his head with one hand. At the same time... A small aircraft, flying so low that it blasts through the rooftops, zooms past. Pujka! Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Lupin. I follow Lupin's gaze. The aircraft that flew overhead is making a wide turn in the sky. It seems like it set its sights on us. I know. Why would a helicopter just go around picking off human beings around? Doesn't make any sense. You would think they have a better use for their bombs than to just bomb people. <laughs> Lupin gets up, then grabs my hand and starts to run. 
I look behind me, seeing that the aircraft is most definitely targeting us. It's hard to tell if the pilot was ordered to kill any citizens it sees or if he recognizes me and Lupin. Or perhaps he thinks of killing as nothing but a game. Kutsa! Lupa suddenly pulls me towards him and jumps into an alleyway. In the next moment, I hear a huge explosion behind us, and a blast of hot air and flame swallows the streets that had been we had been standing in. Kan <laughs> And for one second late in making a decision, we may die. My soldiers begin to tremble and fear gradually spreads within me. However... Lupe stands up and smiles at me, his eyes behind his mask filled with the same light as always. I take the hand proffered toward me and give Lupin a determined nod. We cautiously look out at Buckingham Palace from a hidden spot in the alley. It looks very strong from this distance, but the palace is surrounded by a large number of soldiers. Most of them wear the standard British military uniform. I see a few Twilight soldiers here and there giving orders to the other soldiers. <laughs> There's so many, there's no way Victoria can. Just as I say this, I hear several good shots coming from the direction of the palace. Is she still fighting back? Can you get us past the rebels? <laughs> Making fun of them. <laughs> So, what exactly do you plan to do? Are you going to appear in a flash of smoke? <laughs> Why are you asking me that? I don't know. I hear the sound of running water. It's dark and I can't see anything. Although the city above is engulfed in flames, there is no sign of that down here. It's very quiet. All that's down here is the soft sound of water flowing and dripping and a foul smell. The underground sewers. Lupin has led me to this dark web of subterranean passages that spreads beneath the streets of London. Lupin is looking around cautiously with a small lantern in his hand. <laughs> I know, what else would you expect? <laughs> As he says this, he suddenly pulls me towards him. Or I guess it would be more accurate to say that he holds me close in a hug. He just wants an excuse to hold you close. <laughs> oh, she's blushing. <laughs> right, I will. Lupin gives me a look, perhaps thinking it strange that I looked down just now. What, do you need something? <laughs> Nothing gets by him. <laughs> she has feelings for you too. She just doesn't know what they are yet. He seems surprised. He's so happy when he says that. <laughs> it's not that. Ho <laughs> ho. He likes teasing her. It's cute. Lupa <laughs> smiles peacefully as he looks at me. But he eventually seems satisfied and pats me lightly on the shoulder. Oh yeah, you'll have lots of teasing later. Right, I know. I clear my throat then take a deep breath, enduring the stench. I focus my thoughts and look out at the waterway stretching out ahead of me. Will we be able to enter the palace from here? Ah, London Saikenji, Torikoasio Nogareta Chikasuido, Ikutsumo Atena. Imakoso Tskawarecha Inaiga, Koitsua Kyuden Maritsnagatriatena. 
宮殿内までは安全に行けるってわけさ。So once we find Victoria, will we come back this way to avoid fighting? So they got so done. So can tell you why you can't either. Oh, those who are kids and a cock was okay. Coco Nukasaki are home mono send your not to the tiny kill no canal. Cano Nakagi is shooting you milk about it. Or another sign of Minogasna. Got it. I don't know if from fear or what awaits us, but or from loneliness. I realize that I'm holding onto Lupin's arm tighter than necessary. I'd said I wanted to come along myself. I wanted to help him. I'm so ashamed of how I'm acting, and now that I'm about to face real danger. So, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. You? So, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. <laughs> oh, is get what I want, <laughs> including you. Haha. <laughs> I laugh a little at his words. Oh, but we did fail at kidnapping Finnis before, so that may not be completely true. I mentioned this in the common route how he's like, my plans are 100% success, never fail. I'm like, except for the, the one time you did fail. <laughs> what does he say? Ah.、Uh -uh. あれは無事に逃走できたし、途中で計画変更もあった。失敗したわけじゃねえよ。It sure does count, because you're supposed to, you're supposed to account for everything that could possibly go wrong, and you failed to do that. <laughs> There's no change of plans. And Shalom's got the better of you a few times. <laughs> あいつにも負けてねえ。勝ってもいねえ気がするが、とにかく負けちゃいねえって。That's funny. Do we have any other failures to bring up? No, okay. <laughs> It's rare to see Lupus so defensive. I want to see these different faces of him. That's why we can't fail. I don't know if I mentioned this in another chapter or if I cut it out while editing, but, well, I know I did mention it, but I don't remember if I cut it out. But <laughs> one of the faces that she wants to see of him in the fan disc is him embarrassed because she's never seen him get embarrassed about anything. And she's like, how do I make him embarrassed? <laughs> So she goes on a date with Saint Germain to try to make him jealous because she wanted to see him get embarrassed about something. And he's very suspicious of her, so he follows her around trying to figure out what she's doing and why she's going on a date with Saint Germain. <laughs> she eventually gets what she wants, but it's just really funny that she wants to see him embarrassed. The city in flames, the dark passageway, the horrifying battlefield, and whatever awaits us in Saint Paul's Cathedral. I'll face them without fear with this trustworthy gentleman thief at my side. I better have a CG because <laughs> I, I don't have one yet and there's no more choices. <laughs> the underground passage leads us to the rear courtyard of Buckingham Palace's grounds. Yes. Derzo. The sounds of gunshot can be heard all around us without end. British soldiers are shooting at one another in the moonlight. We can clearly hear the chaos as we hide from the soldiers. This very chaos makes it seem like the revolting troops have the upper hand. It's even obvious to me, and I'm hardly a soldier. The palace will be soon taken. Huh? My body reacts faster than my mind. I duck my head, and a blade slices through the air above me. They found you. <laughs> I roll to the side and jump to my feet, seeing Lupin's stick block another strike from the sword. Lupin! Lupin points his walking stick directly at the Twilight Soldier's face. The soldier freezes for a moment, perhaps not knowing what to expect from Lupin's action. A cloud of gas erupts from the end of the walking stick. As soon as the gas hits the man's face, he falls to the ground, squirming. Is that poison? No, Lupin's a very strong gas. It's a very strong gas. How rude. Well, <laughs> So, 
Lupin grins, then quickly takes on a serious expression. As Lupin is about to set off again, he suddenly stops and furrows his brow. What's the matter, Lupin? We should hurry. Oh. oh no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hear a voice calling out desperately in the distance. I've heard this voice before. Lupin, was that? You can tell that much. You have such good ears, Lupin. That's what you hope, but he doesn't like you. <laughs> so. I start to run after Lupin. I don't pay any mind to the soldiers fighting around us as Lupin finds us blind spot after blind spot to dash through. That's amazing, Lupin. I can't help but voice my admiration for his skill despite the situation we're in. He's taught me the basic techniques of being a thief, but the techniques on display here are an entirely different level. The basic ability to find a place to hide becomes almost magical when Lupin carries it out flawlessly. If I'm not careful, even I would lose sight of him. I do my best to keep up. Thanks to Lupin's guidance, we're able to enter the palace without facing any more danger. Even once we're inside, I still, the, still hear the gunshots all around us. The fighting is going on inside too. Is she hiding or what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Lupin looks ahead, amazed at the man's ridiculousness. Who even uses that word? <laughs> There's so many words in this game that I'm like not even used to seeing or reading, so I fumble them all the time because <laughs> it's like it's, it's not common in the English language. <laughs> but whatever. I've already had to look up two <laughs> while reading this because I'm like, what is, what is that word? <laughs> like I don't read that at all. I see Lionheart there, surrounded by Twilight soldiers. He swings his sword with vigor, throwing back a Twilight soldier, who then takes down a number of other soldiers with him. He spins, cutting down even more Twilight soldiers who are coming up behind him. His voice booms like thunder. Any normal soldier would have fainted on the spot out of sheer intimidation. Wow. I've only ever seen Lionheart when he was being outsmarted by Lupin, but I didn't know he was so strong. Hey, this is the However, seeing that he is not an easy target, the Twilight Soldiers spread out. They probably intend to all strike out at once. He's in danger, Lupin. As he shouts back, Lupin throws something at Lionheart's feet. In the next instant, with an audible hiss, smoke begins to fill the hall. I thought it was one of Lupin's usual smoke bombs. But I'm shocked to see soldier after soldier topple to the floor as the smoke reaches them. What about Lionheart? Is he gonna pass out? <laughs> the toilet soldiers that have fallen to the ground remain unmoving. It seems that everyone touched by the gas has fallen asleep. That of course includes Lionheart too. <laughs> I know, I was like, you just put him to sleep too. <laughs> um, Lupin. ん?なあ。結果的に助けてるし、おっさんなら多少手荒でも何も問題はねえだろ。お、
<laughs> I put mine on shoulder as he snores loudly. <laughs> I mean, if you could just wake up when someone tells you to wake up from sleeping gas, what kind of sleeping gas is it? And heart jumps awake from his peaceful slumber. <laughs> よ、レオンのおっさん。目が覚めたか。うん。ルパン、こんなに常時的様々で潜り込んだか。おや。だが、我が輩にやったのが運の月。この場で成敗してくれる。何言ってんだよ。そんなこと言ってられる状況か。そ
I have my doubts and fears, but if I back out now, I don't have the right to call myself Lupin's friend. It means I won't have the courage to face whatever secret is waiting for me at the cathedral. That's why, of course, I'm the elegant gentleman thief's star pupil. You, you're the one that's in the most danger. Be careful. <laughs> we decide on the courtyard we were in earlier as a meeting spot, and Lupin gently strokes my hair. <laughs> He really likes your hair. That's like the third time he's touched it. <laughs> I watched Lupin run off, then look up at Lionheart. I think that's just his way of showing affection because he can't actually touch her, but her hair is not poisonous, so he can touch that. <laughs> Let's go, Lionheart. I'm sure the queen is safe. Oh. Hmm, what's the matter? Yeah. Seni smiles just a bit as we start running together deeper into the palace. Yep, she's got her set of skills too. <laughs> Please be careful, Lupin. For starters, I have Lionheart stop with the unnecessary yelling that attracts all the enemies around us. We run around the palace in our search for the for Queen Victoria. It seems that Lupin is successful in drawing the enemy's attention as we don't run into too many of them. When we do come across one every once in a while, Lionheart quickly dispatches them. You really are strong. <laughs> Just as Lionheart finishes the sentence, a gunshot in the hall fills the silence. Oh no. You run towards the direction of the gunshot to see two Twilight soldiers trying to force open a closed set of doors. On the floor around them are the bloody bodies of several Br British soldiers. The Twilight soldiers turn around and take a fighting stance when they hear Lionheart's bellow at them. Lionheart bellow. Uh, so much for a surprise attack. <laughs> I look unconcerned as Lionheart charges forward and take the dagger from the body of the soldier on the floor. I simply throw it forward forcefully. I didn't even aim making it a completely amateur throw. Amateur-ish. <laughs> but it will cause injury if it hits, and they'll have to block it with their weapons if it hits them. This split second distraction is enough to create an opportunity for Lionheart. If you really are thankful, it would be great if you could begin acting with a little more caution. I'm not sure if he hears me at all, but he hastily puts his hands on the doors. However, the door doesn't budge. <laughs> Soon after Lionheart calls out, I hear the sound of something heavy being pushed away from the other side of the door. <laughs> the grand music. <laughs> With her posing. <laughs> The door opens to reveal Queen Victoria standing there. None of her guards are with her. She stands alone, bravely, refusing to give in to her enemies. As soon as she sees Lionheart, the Queen's eyes shine as if she might begin to cry. But that lasts only for a moment. Oh, レオンハルト、あなたの仲間もここまでの戦いで大勢。その命をもって陛下を守れたならば、倒れ伏した者たちにとっては名誉なこと。どうか彼らのためにもここを生き延びましょう。Victoria heaves a small sigh. 
When she raises her face again, she is already cloaked in the air of realty. Yeah, we were blackmailing you. <laughs> At the ceremony with Victor Frankenstein and the others. Yes, we need your help, and we can't allow you to get captured by the rebels. But we'll talk about that later. First, we need to get out of here. Yes, Lupin, my friend, has prepared a way out. Come with me. We're supposed to meet him in the courtyard. <laughs> I know, she's like, is she lying? <laughs> she smiles lustrously, then nods at me and starts walking. The two know the layout of the palace, and I listen to them as I lead the way, desperate to find a path with few enemies. If I can remember everything Lupin taught me, I'll be fine. I can make it. This way, you two. Although it was impossible to completely avoid any enemies. Every time we encounter the rebels, Lionheart's swordsman and burning need to protect Victoria gets us through. I don't know what would have happened if I'd been alone. I'm thankful for Lionheart's skills as I hurry out to the courtyard. It doesn't look like Lupin's here yet. It seems like it took forever, but our meeting spot in the courtyard finally comes into view. There are no longer any sounds of fighting. Most of the royal soldiers have been defeated by the rebelling forces. Rebelling. <laughs> rebelling. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I turn around and look at Lionheart and Victoria. Let's all wait here until Lupin... I'm not able to finish that sentence. Oh no. I sent someone watching us and turn around to see a soldier emerge from the darkness with a gun. Lupin's going to hit him. And he's not alone. I think... I think the others show up, but I may be misremembering. <laughs> More soldiers emerge from the shadows and darker corners all around us. You're surrounded. An ambush? Whatever. <laughs> I know, beat them up. We may be able to handle one or two of them, but there are too many. Lionheart and I are apprehensive, but the queen remains calm. She looks around her with her head held high, then glares into a corner. Oh, is it Finnis? <laughs> Did you stage this whole thing just to draw her out? I mean, that would seem very Finnis like to do. <laughs> A small figure appears from behind the soldiers. I've seen this person before. Oh, really? There's no way I could forget him. Not after seeing him die right in front of me, impaled on St. Germain's blade. Yeah, Nesa. Ano chika de atte ilai da ne. Finnis, how? Why are you? Hare. Boku ga fushi da to yu hanashi. Nesa mo Helsingu kara kite itan ja nai no? Yes, he did, but we forgot all about it after, like, chapter 3. <laughs> but you were killed. Ah, Finnis smiles like an angel. Finnis, that was very rude. <laughs> but this raises the hand slightly in that instant. Was she shot? Oh my goodness. For a moment, I can't tell what happened. 
Victoria remains standing tall, but blood begins to flow from her leg and her face grows tense. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> あ、うるさいな。僕は姉さんと大切な話をしなきゃいけないんだ。蜂の巣になりたくなければ少し黙ってろよ。Wow, the the reborn Finis is very bold to shoot the queen and and go against the royal guard. <laughs> if you ever get caught, you are definitely sentenced to death. A thousand times over because you obviously can't die. <laughs> so maybe maybe being immortal is what makes him so cocky. Yamete o kina saire o haruto. Do yara, ano boya wa honki no yoda kara. Poor Lionheart, he's having to swallow his pride. Kenme na handan da yo Victoria. 今の僕はようやく計画を実行に移せて少し高揚してるからねあんまり刺激しないでくれると嬉しいよあ、どうしようそう、クリーピー僕たちの計画からすればビクトリア君ですらただの駒でしかないんだからさ Victoria simply narrows her eyes as she looks at Finnis, as if attempting to measure the truth of his statement. Finnis pays her no mind and turns his attention back to me. Nee-san,こんなところで会えるとは思っていなかったよ. Then what did you plan to do to the palace? I don't understand. でも、これは嬉しいご参だ. ロンドンの占領なんて計画の始まりに過ぎないけど。それでもこの記念すべき夜にあなたと会えたことは喜ぶべきことだいやもしかするとこれも父様の計画のうちなのかもしれないねそう偶然に見えても何もかもが父様の思い通りに進められているんだすごいよね Finn speaks joyously as if singing a song. Obviously, he doesn't care if any of us understand what he's talking about. His words only indicate that he is completely caught up in himself. <laughs> no, we are not going with you. Now, <laughs> What exactly is this plan you keep talking about? そうか。そうだったよね。姉さんは何も知らないんだっけ。仕方ないな。それなら教えてあげるよ。コードリアライズの秘密を。My artificial heart skips a beat when I hear Finis's words. <laughs> Why does she say artificial heart? I mean, I know she doesn't have one, but she just has to keep reiterating the fact that she's not alive and that she's a monster. Code realized. Those words that follow the repeated to me time and time again while I was in the depth of my slumber. Code realized to me Create a god? So それこそが父様の目指すもの。科学の進歩。その原動力がどこにあるか考えたことはある？Finnis suddenly changes the subject without answering my question. What? Flum? Like what the heck, man? Flumboxed? Is that how you say that? See, here's another word I had to look up. Flummoxed? Like, who says that? I didn't even know what that means. <laughs> I had to look it up. I'm a flummoxed and I simply stare back at him. Like, what the heck? What does it mean? Bewildered? Like, why can't they use that word instead? Bewildered or perplexed? Like, I know what that means. <laughs> but whatever. It's <laughs> 
Let's see. Um, my next line was Vilnes. That had a couple of words where it's just like, no one says that in the English language, but whatever. This game has so many. I don't know who translated this, but <laughs> they wanted it to sound, I guess, sophisticated by using words that no one ever says. I don't know. I'm sure my husband knows what some of these words mean, but he seems to be well more educated than I am. Maybe it's a military thing, I don't know. やがてその数が増え、天敵がいなくなると、今度は人類は互いに争い始めた。姉さん、なぜだかわかる人は本能的に知っているんだ。戦いこそ自らを進歩させる鍵だと。自分たちの生き残る鍵だと。事実、人類は戦いの旅に急激な進歩を続けてきた。そこで父様は考えたんだ。人の文明がさらなる段階に進むための方法をね。ベネスマは that's like really close to what Victoria had planned for London to just go to war to advance technology, actually to protect her own technology. Is father really trying to accomplish something like that? That's ridiculous. The whole thing seems too grandois and completely unrealistic. I know what that word means. <laughs> so, so more Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> And this is why idea wanted to destroy him. Venice <laughs> moves the pace towards me. Oh no. I feel an intense aversion from him and step back. I raise my hands to my chest protectively. Father reborn, a vessel, and my heart. Is that the purpose he had me created for? So, Venice's voice is filled with joy, and although he speaks in such a light-hearted manner, I feel as if the words themselves are steeped in despair. Venice's Nesamawa,絶大なるエネルギーを生み出すホロロギウムを生成するためのただの生体触媒。わかるでしょう、姉さん。僕たちにはコロモ、魂も与えられていない。She <laughs> looks like she has plenty of emotions. She looks very sad right now. We have no emotions. The joy I feel from being with my friends. The happiness I get from being with Lupin, they aren't real. Of course they are. <laughs> I don't want to admit it. I don't want to listen. But Finnis's words reach inside me and slowly chip away at my heart. I mean, what defines the soul, really? People would say that living beings have souls. So if you're walking, talking, and breathing, I don't know. 
To me, you have a soul. I mean, because, like, how else would you be alive? Yeah, but dolls wouldn't be this complicated. <laughs> you guys are thinking for yourselves, acting for yourselves. She is feeling sad and joy. Like, that's more than just... You guys are more than just dolls. I would say that you have souls. This is not pretending to be alive. <laughs> Not wanting to die, like having the desire to not want to die, that's more than just pretending. You're trying to act all sympathetic, we know you don't care for her. <laughs> he smiles. His smile welcomes me, the only other person in the world born under the same circumstances as him. What is Lupin going to come in here and like shut you up? I'm sure all this sounds absolutely insane from an outsider's perspective. Lionheart, one hand on the hilt of his sword, it sounds overwhelmed as he shouts. だから正しく行くんじゃないか。僕たちの手で。姉さん、分かってくれるよね。僕たちのこの絶望と虚無を拭うには役目を果たすしかないんだ。But if it's all fake, then you don't need to overcome it, right? <laughs> I understand. I know that Finis is speaking the truth. I remember what father has said to me as I slept. Just because someone tells you that doesn't make it true. Kamiyo <laughs> His hand touches my hair, his hands, big strong hands. His touch is so comforting. Ah, uh, that's right. I am a monster. That is an undeniable truth. I'm no human. I can never love anyone. Oh my goodness, <laughs> we're going down this path again. You've already thought about this, and Lupin has already abolished it from you, and now, because Finnish shows up, now you gotta think about it all over again. Elaine died because I forgot this. The things that happened in the dark. Being chased through the forest. Everyone knows it. I really am a monster. An ugly, poisonous monster created only for Father's dreams. Words fill my mind. I knew everything. Father had told it all to me while I slept. I knew everything, but I simply didn't want to remember. What about everything that Lupin has told you up to now, and it made you feel happy? Thinking of all this again is only making you sad. That's why I pushed it all away into the depths of my mind. Loved by no one. Needed by no one. If my existence holds no meaning, then why am I here? 
さあおいで姉さん No, you pathetic little man, go away. <laughs> But I failed to see all of that. I feel like the very concept of me is about to be shattered to pieces. Before I realize it, I extend my hand out to Finnis. I know, someone stop her, jeez. <laughs> Set back to reality at Victoria's harsh bark. <laughs> bark. Phoenis. <laughs> I mean, not too long ago, you were insane too. We were saying this about you. So, she and I was like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Oh, you just realized this? <laughs> Scratchy voice escapes from deep in my throat. In a daze, I look at Finnis, who still stands with his hand out. This isn't right. This isn't the hand that should be reaching towards me. This isn't right. I know, where is Lupin? <laughs> you need his hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, you sound so pathetic, and I know it's fake. You're so fake. Pretending to be all sad to get her fake emotions on your side. <laughs> This is not the hand that swept me away to the light filled world outside. This is not the hand that I yearn to touch and hold if my poison ever disappears. Aw, she's thinking of Lupin, that's so cute. <laughs> This isn't it. I throw aside my internal debate over whether or not I am a monster or an artificial life. Um, I think it's a tip to resist. Oh, never mind. Attempt to resist is the bad ending, so we're going to stall for time. So Lupin can show up. Lupin, his name escapes my lips of its own accord. I'm a monster, just part of some greater mach machine, not even alive. I don't know what right I have to face him at all. He, he's already talked to you about this. This is also something that I really hate in games where she gets all this confirmation from the person that she needs it from and it makes her happy and then She goes back to thinking, oh, I don't deserve it, and just forgets everything that she was ever told. But the only thing I want right now is to see him again. That feeling is surging from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to buy some time. <laughs> I make up my mind and try my best to piece together my shredded heart. If I can stall Finnis, Lupin will arrive, and I know that he will save Victoria and Lionheart. Finnis, tell me about it again. You're saying so much that I don't understand. I need you to tell me about this plan in more detail or I won't know where to begin helping you. <laughs> you know, any person normally would be able to see the shift in her、um, expression or the shift in her words or something to give it away that. She's obviously stalling. <laughs> that the trans that you had on her has been broken. But whatever. But don't worry, it's fine. And you'll die. I include my duty. What does that what does that mean? What should I do after that? その後はないよ。姉さんの活動はすべてホロロギウムによって成り立ってる。ホロロギウムを摘出されたら姉さんは死ぬだけでしょ? He says that so casually. I'll I'll die. I'm honestly curious to learn the answer, forgetting that I had simply been asking to stall for time. Finnis, aren't you just a tool to be used in Father's rebirth like me? What will happen to you? He suddenly closes his mouth as if feeling something amiss. 
突然おしゃべりになったね<笑>姉さん。You finally caught on. <笑>何を企んでいるのかなもしかして時間稼ぎのつもり He does not look amused. <laughs> He looks at me suspiciously. So, I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. 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 You've been found. I can't distract him any longer. Right, as I think this, everything suddenly becomes pitch black. From the light of the moon had been shining down on us, has been snuffed out, and a darkness, deep darkness settles in. Is it the ornithopter? I look up at the sky and stare in shock. Oh, I bet you it's a blimp. <laughs> I was so engrossed in my conversation with Finnis that I hadn't noticed. Above us is a moving shadow blocking the light of the moon. An airship? Oi, <laughs> A cannonball fired in our direction barely misses the soldiers and buries itself in the ground. The subsequent explosion makes my skin tingle. Nope. <laughs> Wait, I think it's Lupin because I remember a CG of them in an airship, but it, it could be Nemo too. Although, if it was Nemo, I think he would have tried to kill them. <laughs> The small airship glinting in the night turns and fires a series of cannon shots. Each of the shots plows into the ground, sending up massive divots in the courtyard. But there are no direct hits and no one is hurt by them. It's obviously a Lupin. He's not trying to hurt anyone. Could this be? Wait, Lionheart, that, that, that airship, it might be. I stop the two as they back away and look at the airship that has begun approaching us. There is someone standing at the prow of the airship. <laughs> is that the CG we get? I've already used that CG. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I need a different CG. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I almost used a different CG for the common route, but then I saw the one in the main route and I used it because I didn't I didn't really have another one. But now it gives us the same thing. He's always like this. He shows up just at the perfect moment to, sh to sweep me off my feet. <laughs> Lupin! In this moment, everything that Finnish just told me is completely forgotten. I might have to think of something, I don't know. I bet I can change the CG in the common route to be the the more bright one, the bright yellow one from uh, like the end of the songs where it says Lupin's root's been unlocked and I bet I can use this one instead. It'll be the same, but they're different colors, right? <laughs> Lupin looks at me as I call out to him and he smiles, bowing his head respectively. He makes me smile so much. <laughs> He's such a gentleman. Anata to you, Utskushi, Hosekina. Ikudomo Kikini Sarasarero to you, Naraba. But as you are Nando de Monusun de Misemaso. Over and over again. Anata no Hatua. But as she dake no mono no discra. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> I'm going to use that as my caption. <laughs> Your heart belongs to me. <laughs> I felt Lupin's gaze on my cheek as he stands on the airship's deck on your cheek. That's funny. As he opens his mouth, stand there with your mouth agape. <laughs> Actually, there we go. It's slightly different. He has his mouth open now, so whatever. <laughs> Well, to be fair, in Victor's Drew, you did say, what, um, Lupin and others? Or is it Frankenstein and others? I don't know, but you did it to Lupin, so. So, I don't know what you need to do. <laughs> Lupin's amazing. 
姉さんを捕らえろ他は殺して構わない He is not happy. The soldiers once again try to point out their guns at us. Point their guns. Point their. Yeah. But the impact of the cannonball right in front of them, it kicks up a cloud of dust blocking their view. Cardia! Yarukota, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Right. Lionheart, Victoria. Hey, Kanokoto, I'm not sure what I'm doing. The airship turns and comes gliding towards us. <laughs> how are you going to do a run by jump in on an airship? Like, like how can you get it that close to the ground and still keep flying? That's just oh, rope ladders, but still, <laughs> still, <laughs> it'd have to be really long because I don't think that airship can fit in a graveyard. Two long rope ladders dangle from the side of the ship as it flies past the fallen soldiers. Then Hart grabs one ladder with one arm, holding the queen tightly to him and the other. Run and jump! <laughs> Seeing this, I start to run towards the second ladder. Ha! I push off from the ground with all my might and jump to catch the rope. Then, in the blink of an eye, the airship ascends into the air. Nisa! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I hear a voice from far below. I look down on my eyes meet Finnis's as his face twists. Why? Why do you want to Her fake emotions do not align with yours. Well, she begs to differ. I mean, you can you can join the bandwagon. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I stare at him for a long time as he gets smaller and smaller. The truth that he revealed to me is almost too heavy for me to bear. The heartache that this truth has caused won't be going away anytime soon. Until Lupin loves you, <laughs> then it would go away. The airship continues climbing into the sky. For now, there are no other airships pursuing us. It would seem that we can relax for the time being. I wonder how much longer this chapter goes. I mean, if the CG of them on the airship is in this chapter, I could just use that. <laughs> Yes, you too. It'll save me some work anyway. <laughs> After leaving us at the palace, he had stolen a parked airship to use for our escape. How convenient to find a parked airship. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> then he used that ship to save us. She's like, how in the world do you come up with these things? <laughs> レオンハルト、そんな細かいことでいちいち怒らないでちょうだい。断気は寿命を縮めると言うわよ。お、ほ、ご忠告、痛み入ります。Hangs <笑> on her every word. Victoria looks over at me, then at Lupin, who is steering the airship. それで。助けてもらった時は聞きそびれていたんだけど。いや、ウェイユテイキングデム。あなた方が私を助けた理由。私に対する用事とは何かしら。用事っつが。あんたが反乱軍に勝ってくれればそれでいいんだ。デブリクスプ
否定する要素がないじゃないどちらにせよ反乱軍は鎮圧しなければいけない逃げて地方で再起を図る手もあるけどロンドンにはこのイギリスのずば抜けた技術と知識のすべてがあるわこのロンドンを奪われればそれは同時にイギリスという国家の落実を示すのだからじゃルパン一味とイギリス政府の共同戦線ってことで一応頑張ろうじゃねえか<笑> Lupin grins, then begins discussing the situation in greater detail with them while they look up down upon London. What could have lie hidden beneath the city? What is the answer to it all? Now that things have finally slowed down, the words Finnis said that I have shoved into the corner of my mind come floating back. Code realized. I muttered them to myself, finding the sound of them somewhat nostalgic. Well, no CG, right? Are we going? Yep, yeah, no CG. <laughs> so, we're going to have to switch up my CGs just a little. We're back to the chirping. <laughs> so, yeah, if I take, let's see, if I just change the last chapter, not the last chapter, if I change the common root chapter CG, then I can fit this one in so it looks slightly different. But that is what we get. <laughs> That's better than using some random shot in the chapter because I don't think those look as good. Obviously, the next episode is going to be a, a CG inside the airship because I already know what it is. Unless there's more than one, there could be more than one. Anyway, that is it for this episode. It's probably an hour and a half. I don't know how long it's going to be when I edit it down because I did. Um, take a couple of pauses in between to um, do a couple of things on my computer, but I didn't actually pause the video, so I have to edit that all out. <laughs> anyway, if you guys did enjoy, drop a thumbs up down below and or subscribe for the rest of Lupin's content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.